In the early morning hours of June 28, 1969, a riot broke out in front of the Stonewall Inn in New York City. The violent protest became known as the Stonewall Riots. The Stonewall Riots were a watershed moment in the gay rights movement, sparking activism and awareness across the United States. We'll look at the roots of the riots, the events, and their lasting impact. In the 1950s and 60s, homosexuality was still considered sodomy and illegal in 49 states. The punishments varied greatly by state, ranging from heavy fines to imprisonment. In society, members of the gay community were often subject to violence, harassment, and discrimination. In New York City, gay bars were havens for people with diverse sexual orientations and gender identities, places where they could avoid harassment and violence. The Stonewall Inn served as a popular refuge. The Stonewall Inn was owned by the Mafia. The Mafia bribed the police to look the other way. In turn, the Mafia made money overcharging patrons for drinks. Even so, the patrons were not fully safe from homophobia and discrimination. The Mafia would extort wealthy patrons, threatening to out them to their employers and families. Despite the Mafia's bribes, the police still regularly raided the Stonewall Inn and other gay bars, charging them with solicitation of homosexual relations. Trans and other gender non-conforming people were also targeted, subjected to violence, and arrested if they weren't wearing what the police deemed gender-appropriate clothing. This oppression and mistreatment came to a head in the early morning hours of June 28, 1969. Nine police officers entered the Stonewall Inn in a raid. The patrons were fed up. As the police roughly tried to arrest bartenders and customers, many resisted. Outside the bar, people in the hundreds began rioting. They threw bottles at the police and pushed through the barricades. The police officers retreated from the crowd and locked themselves inside the Stonewall Inn. Rioters responded by setting the bar on fire. Police reinforcement arrived, and the original officers managed to get out of the burning bar. Meanwhile, the angry mob had grown into thousands. Eventually, the police were able to get the crowd to disperse, but it didn't last long. The riots continued until July 1st. While some criticized the violent and destructive riots, others pointed to the brutality and unjust treatment of the gay community. This large-scale defiance made a massive impact on society. The Stonewall Riots were the beginning of the modern gay liberation movement, which also brought attention to others marginalized for their sexual or gender orientation. The riots sparked the formation of the Gay Liberation Front, the first group to publicly advocate for equal gay rights. On the one-year anniversary of the riots, they also organized the first Gay Pride Parade. Today, Pride events are still held on the anniversary of the Stonewall Riots in cities around the country and even the world. In 2016, President Obama made the Stonewall Inn and the area outside where the riots broke out a national monument. This became the first national monument celebrating gay history. The Stonewall Riots may have been violent, but they marked a pivotal moment in history. No longer would people quietly endure the stigma associated with their sexual and gender orientations. Through the Stonewall Riots, the gay rights movement gained mainstream visibility and a momentum that continues to this day.